my name is Ariel Diane Garciano. I'm 22 years old and I grew up in Littleton Christchurch. For me, it's, it's, it's another home, you know, when I come here it's so warming and homely, not just being, being Miss World New Zealand and being welcomed as a beauty queen, but just as being welcomed as my home. And I feel like I'm very at home here with all of my family and it's, it's amazing and the people are so welcoming and overwhelming with support, it's, I can't believe it. <laughs> One of the most memorable moments was when we arrived in Peru and we drove in and the whole town square was packed with, with people and I, was, I wasn't expecting it, I was expecting you know just a few people gathered around to, to welcome me but no, there was, the town was full of people and they had signs and they um, had a marching band the kids are marching for me and singing and dancing and they had banners and wow, it was really, really amazing. <laughs> What I want you to do is I want you to follow your heart and your mind to follow your dreams and I know that you will get there if you work hard enough just like I have. So that's my message to you all today. Thank you so much for having me. I'm, I'm really happy to be here. Salamat <laughs> for. I believe that school is very, very important. You know, even if you could be a top student or someone who's really, really struggling like I was. I struggled all through school but because I know how important it is. Even though I was struggling, I pushed myself to do better. And you know, like I said, it's it's all about the mindset. So I knew that, you know, if these other kids are doing it, I can do it too. There's no reason why I can't do that. So I always pushed myself as hard as I could, even when I was struggling. So this is that's what I plan to do with the rest of my life. Whenever I'm struggling, I know that I that I can do anything so I'll just push myself and eventually I'll get to where I want to be. Your family are the people who are closest to you in your life and even though I didn't grow up here full time with my cousins and my aunties and uncles and my grandparents it's still you know, when we've seen each other, it's still the same connection. I still feel the same as, you know, if we did grow up together. And I'm just, I'm lucky that I have um, a really supportive family in New Zealand as well that are, that are there for me. And yeah, I'm just, I'm so lucky to have what I have. the Miss World pageant in London this December. Uh, I, I'm not too sure what I'm going to do yet, but I know that win or lose, no matter how I do, I want to carry on with my charity work because it means so much to me. And being in a position where I can help others the way that I have been doing, is it's amazing. And I, I didn't even realize 
how much I was able to help but I've been here in the Philippines and I've been speaking in schools and doing feeding programs and inspiring the youth and it's amazing it's it's like a dream I never believed that I <laughs> of all people would be someone who has the ability to do that and I love it and I think it's such a great thing so I want to encourage other people to do the same thing whether you have two hands one's for helping yourself and the other's for helping people so use your hands to do what you can to help others.